Hi, I'm Molly Superthorpe. Welcome to my channel where I offer bite-sized tutorials and demonstrations in hand lettering. Today I'm going to show you a very quick little hack for creating calligraphic grids right in your Procreate file. Some of us like to save these grids on the cloud, which is perfectly fine. In fact, I have tons of them saved on the cloud uh, that I've pre-made for different lettering purposes and styles. In fact, I also have a pack of 12 grids that are free to download and I've linked them in the description below. But sometimes you just wanna make a brand new grid and you know just play around and just get something really, really quick in your artboard. So it doesn't matter for this demonstration what size we create an artboard for, but I'm just gonna come up here and make a new one. Tap the plus sign, then tap this here. And let's make something, let's say a width in inches, let's say, of eight inches by eight inches and hit create. Let's go to our layers palette and just make 100% sure that our background color is set to pure white. And then on this blank layer, I'll come up to the wrench icon, canvas, and turn on drawing guide. Now I'll immediately hit edit drawing guide, and I'm gonna just choose a color that's dark enough to produce a very high contrast between background and grid lines. Uh, I won't adjust anything else down here except for the grid size. So let's see. I want, I don't, I mean, I don't really care because you'll see we're gonna magnify this a little bit, but I want, let's say, a number of grid lines, not too, too, not too, too small like this, but not too big either. I'd rather have something roughly in between where I can expand it because you can't actually ever shrink it. So, I don't know, let's say something like this. And now I'll hit done. Now, if we work straight from this, we have very upright, uh, vertical lines, but I want slanted lines because calligraphy has that nice italic slant to it. So to quickly create a grid like that, I'm actually going to take a screen capture of my iPad screen. And to do that, you just press the power and volume up buttons simultaneously. Now a screen capture has been taken down here. I'll go up to my wrench icon and turn off drawing guide and then come to add, insert a photo. And I'm going to insert the screen capture that I just took. With uniform turned on and magnetics, I'll enlarge this so that the grid itself basically fills the screen and hit the selection tool. Here over on the right, you see that in my layers palette, I now have this grid image placed and I'm gonna just rename it grid so that we're never confused. Now I'm gonna reselect it so that this just selects what's on our artboard and I'll come over to freeform and tap and hold the center, um, the center dot here in the transform selection. And I'll be able to drag it now over to the right since magnetics is turned on. I can drag it without it moving up and down also. And I can choose whatever slant line I want. I don't want something too extreme that's maybe a bit too formal for me. So let's do something in this range. And then I'm going to click the left top and drag this out so that it again fills the screen, fills the artboard quite nicely. And I'll hit my select tool to turn it off and now I have this nice grid. Better yet, because the background layer was perfectly white to begin with, I can tap my layer and change the opacity to multiply. What this does is knocks out any pure white color. So if we change our background color, now we have a situation where we can have any background color with a transparent grid customized to our particular drawing placed right over top of it. Now I just want to point out that you can also reduce the opacity of this grid so that when you're writing over it, the grid lines are not so distracting. So I can reduce the opacity like this if I want. So now if I create a blank layer above and I choose, let's say, my fine point calligraphy pen, I can create any sort of design and be able to turn off the grid and nobody will be the wiser. 